Hello everyone, Dale Martin from Splendor Instructional Technology with another short video for you on Pathblazer. One of the challenges of Pathblazer is the time it takes getting students completely through the diagnostic test. Remember, there are three of them and they basically split the grade level TEKS into thirds. This can be especially frustrating when teachers want to see data on their students so that they can drive intervention and instruction. Fortunately, there's a quick and easy way to see how students did on their diagnostic test. Today we're going to talk about evaluating student performance on the Pathblazer Diagnostic. So I've logged into Edgenuity and I'm at my teacher dashboard. The first thing I'm going to do is come over and take a look at courses and assignments. Then I'm going to click on class progress. This first box will give this click in this box will give you a summary of the assignments for the class. That's all of these right here. A blank sheet means that the activity is incomplete and a blue icon means that the activity is complete. Most of these are C and B tests so we haven't done those yet. To find out a specific student's performance, you just click on that student's name. This is a demo account that we have set up, but watch what happens when we click on Demo Dale. We get a similar box, but this time we see that he has been working in Diagnostic A pretest 6th grade. If I click on that test, the name of the test, I can actually come up here and click again and actually see the student's test, um, the questions just like the student saw them, which probably isn't very valuable. Or I can look at his entire instructional pathway based on his performance of this test. So all of these activities are what Pathblazer has assigned to Demo Dale based on how he did on the test. Okay. Interesting, but again, not really uh, illustrative. If I come over here and click on details, the information gets a little more interesting. Now I get a second drop down box that gives me an assignment detail specifically for Dale's test. Again, if I click here, I go back to each question of the test uh, as I showed you before. But when I click on the score, the 62%, that's when I'll get a test summary on how Dale performed on the math assessment. This is powerful information. It lets me take a look at how he did by standard on the assessment. So as you can see, first of all, the standards that he was assessed on, he made it to the sixth grade. He's a sixth grade student, so this is good news. Sometimes uh, this number will be higher or lower than the student's grade level. Obviously, if it's higher, the student is accelerated. If it's lower, the student's having difficulty. The next thing you want to look at is how well did the student score in terms of mastery on each objective tested. So it looks here like he passed six and he didn't pass five. So keeping in mind that this is a sixth grader and he hasn't been exposed to this material yet, we would probably consider this student accelerated because he passed six out of the 11 um, objectives tested. It would be okay for most of these to have red X's because a sixth grade student hasn't been exposed to this curriculum yet. On the other hand, if these were fives and fours and threes 
and there was a lot of red X's over here, then we would know that Pathblazer by itself might not be enough for this student. In this particular case, I don't think intervention is required on the teacher's behalf, and I think this student will do fine just going through uh, the pathway provided by uh, Edgenuity Pathblazer. So that's it. It's that simple. Basically, you just click on the student. Actually, let's just take it back from dashboard. You click on courses and assignments. You click on class progress. You'll click on the student, details, and the score. And then you can print these for each one of your students, or you can print them just for the students that you think you may have to intervene with. If you have any questions, just reach out to me via email. Be glad to help. Have a great day.